Baseball celebrates Jackie Robinson Day, commemorating the day that Robinson played his very first game for the Brooklyn Dodgers. It was 66 years ago that Robinson broke baseball's color barrier in the major leagues. He took the field against the Boston Braves. Every player on every team is wearing his number 42 today in his honor. That happens every year. And Jackie Robinson still has an impact on many young baseball players including many here in the North State. Today we spoke with some of them who say the movie 42 has left them nothing but inspired. A reminder that the game is a team effort and that hard work and achievement go hand in hand. This team from UPREP says after watching the movie, they realize anything can become reality. It kind of inspired me to you know, kind of change, try to change the game any way I can. And I think what he did is great because there are so many, there have been so many great African American baseball players, and I think he's the one who made that happen. The movie they say brought them together and made them realize what a team effort really is. 66 years ago today, when Jackie Robinson made his Major League debut, Joe Hatton was on the mound. Joe was my mailman in Reading. I went to elementary and high school with his son. These are some pictures from his family's collection. In fact, this is from the day that Jackie broke the color line. Joe was the opening day pitcher. You see Jackie right there with the bat getting ready for his first at bat. Joe is over here in the dugout stretching his leg. There they are in the dugout. Can't see it well here. That's most of Jackie there, and Joe was over to the right. Also, a team picture here uh, of the team. Uh, you'll see up here, this is Dixie Walker. He's turned away. He was one of the guys who kind of led the revolt on the Dodgers against Jackie Robinson, although Joe told me almost uh, to a man they supported him. This is a banquet that happened. The players all playing up above this table down below. You see Joe's wife, Zanette, right there. Rachel Robinson was across there, and two empty chairs right there. That's because the two women who were seated there got up and left, walked across the room, left them behind. Uh, but uh, Joe's wife, of course, stayed there and said that uh, Rachel was a very nice woman. But I'm going to let Joe's daughter-in-law, Sylvia Hatton, tell you the story. Pee Reese's wife and, and Joe's wife, my mother-in-law, are sitting there with some other wives. And Jack, or Rachel came in and sat down, and the two wives um, to the right of her got up and walked clear across the, the banquet room. And according to her, you could have heard a pin drop that everybody was appalled that this happened. And the other wives were scolded by their husbands afterwards, you know, saying, don't, don't you ever try something like that. And, of course, they wouldn't. You know, they, they liked and admired Rachel. And... Sylvia told me she wants to see the movie 42 to check its accuracy to see if there is a left-hander, number 19, on the mound in Jackson.